So, welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna be starting a new project. Um, and yeah, have a nice day. Today we're gonna be painting the calipers on my Subaru WRX 2017. So, without further ado, let's not waste time. Uh, first, I'm gonna show you what you need. So, walking over to our table of things. First, we're gonna need is the spray paint itself and this is caliper spray paint specifically for the calipers and they are high temperature too so make sure you get the high temperature ones now i went with blue why because my car is ice silver so i wanted to go with a more cooler color than more of a hot red color so that's why uh this is basically to finish the paint to make it a bit more glossy this is optional brake cleaner uh also optional if you guys can't afford it, I don't know. But yeah, optional, optional. Uh, plastic garbage bags, probably gonna need those. Or paper, or whatever you guys have. Uh, a wire brush, and some dirty rag that you found in your basement. All right, so I'm gonna start with the front brake, so I'm just gonna lift the front part up, take off the wheels, and then prepare like the whole shenanigan things. All right, both wheels are off, both calipers are exposed, so now we can begin our cleaning process. We're gonna start with the right side. I'm gonna turn the wheel so that the caliper faces outward, so it makes it so much more easier for me to paint it. And clean. So there are so many ways to paint this. Uh, some ways requires you not to remove this at all no unscrewing but for me i'm probably going to take off the rotors and also the brake pads just to make it easier for me and just cover this whole thing in trash bag well my light died what now it works how oh, dare you okay we're gonna leave it we're gonna bring this just in case that one dies all right so i have taken off the rotors everything that i don't want painted so right now we're gonna start just taping off everything, putting bags everywhere just so we don't get paint on the car or anywhere inside the wheel well. Useless. Uh-huh. All right, so at this point, we're gonna start cleaning the caliper. That prevents, uh, the paint peeling off from later, and also the paint stays on nicer. That made no sense. So we're gonna start cleaning it. I got my uh, brake cleaner. Make sure you guys do wear gloves. It does uh, dry your skin pretty bad and it's not really good for your skin at all. Also have a rag on the bottom so the drip can catch so it won't get on your, um, your floors. Uh, forgot my metal brush. All right, got my brush, my dirty basement rag. Let's get started. Alright, so now that we got most of it cleaned off, I just want to remind you guys that this is the only side that's going to be showing, so try to scrub a bit more on the front side. The back side, eh, not so much, it's not going to be visible, but we're more, we're, focused, eh, we're more focusing on the front side. So now we're going to start actually taping off everything, so we have to tape off everything that's not the caliper. So that includes even the interior pistons inside here. We're just going to cover this whole hub, the whole uh, assembly over here. It's gonna cover all, also maybe over here, just so we don't get paint on here. So yeah, let's do it. So as you can see, um, 
I mean, it works, whatever. But yeah, so we got most of it covered. Uh, we got, oh, that's right, I forgot the pistons inside, hold up. All right, so now the inside pistons are covered with tape, so make sure you definitely don't get paint on those. All right, so, grab our paint, shake it really, really good. And then we're gonna apply our first coat. So I already applied my first coat and honestly, I gotta say it looks beautiful. So uh, we have to wait 10 minutes after each coat. So I'm gonna probably spray on another coat and that should be it. Other than that, uh, dude, it looks so good right now. All right, so while I wait to apply the second coat, I'm actually gonna start doing the other side just to get it prepped. And yeah. All right, so 10 minutes has passed. Let's start adding in the second coat. All right, I think that second coat should do it. Uh, we're gonna wait another 10 minutes and then we're gonna apply the clear coat. So, I'm gonna go work on the other side real quickly. 10 minutes, we're gonna put clear coat on this. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna add some gloss clear coat. Now, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but personally, uh, I do want that bit of an extra gloss look, so I'm gonna apply this. All right, we're all done with this side. It looks absolutely beautiful. So right now, we're just gonna wait for it to dry. We're gonna start working on the other side. Uh, yeah, but dude, look, look how cool that is. It's awesome. So I ran into a slight problem, but no worries, we can fix it. So the rotor seems to not be coming off. I don't have a rubber mallet, and I also don't have um, the bolt that goes here. Um, I may be stupid, the bolt might, I could just take off a bolt somewhere, but Honestly, we're not gonna mess with that. We're just gonna put the bag inside here. Just lift this, and just put it inside, and then we'll just work around it, so no problem. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did on the other side, so I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna make a little montage for you guys, just to kind of go through it quickly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and already paint this side. I'm gonna let the other side dry for now. So we're gonna start this side. Uh, hopefully it goes well. So while we wait for our 10 minutes to respray the second coat, I'm gonna start preparing the back side by lifting it first. And yeah, let's see how that goes. So the car is on all four jacks, and honestly, I'm probably gonna use uh, this method, the wrap around the rotor, probably way simpler. I just detach these bolts, lift this up, just wrap it around the whole rotor, and it would be way faster and easier, so I'm gonna do that one. But, so we're gonna put another coat on here. That's not bright enough. There we go. So we're gonna put another coat on here. Uh, then we're gonna wait 10 minutes and then we're gonna put on the clear coat and then it should be all done. All right, second coat applied. So now I'm gonna move on to the back. I'm going to cover everything. You guys know the drill, you guys already know how it works. So I'm just gonna go through these quickly just not to waste your time. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna apply our clear coat. And yeah, let's finish this up. All right, so on the front side, the paint is dry to the touch. I'm still gonna be very careful when putting things back together because I don't want to scratch off the paint or ruin it or anything. So time to put this back together. All right, so first side is done and they're looking better already. I didn't expect the brake pads to be that difficult to put back on, but we got them back on, tightened everything down. Now time to move on to the rest of the car. Also, this is the last rotor I painted. I just painted it with clear coat, so 
Gonna dry, let this dry for about 10 more minutes, then we're gonna finish up the rest of the car. So now that all the rotors are back on, time to clean everything up and then slap on the wheels. All right, so we're all done, everything's clean, wheels back on, car lowered, and I gotta say, these look spectacularly awesome. That made no sense. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this color. I think it looks awesome. Now, let's take it outside because I want to see the outside color. Oh yeah, so much better. That's really cool. Sir. All right, that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you guys learned something new. Uh, don't kill yourselves. Stay safe. Yeah. Stay safe out there. Uh, and have a good day. Peace. Quick fill out.